Welcome to Mars Saga, your gateway to the Red Planet. Subscribe now and join the journey. Welcome back to Mars Saga, the journey through the Red World where every grain of dust hides a mystery billions of years old. For centuries we have looked up at Mars and seen only a dry, lifeless planet, a world of endless deserts and frozen plains. But today, science is painting a new picture, a world where oceans may still exist, not on the surface, but deep below the crust, silently waiting to be discovered. Billions of years ago, Mars wasn't red. It was blue. Its valleys were filled with rivers, its basins covered by massive oceans stretching for thousands of miles. Satellite images from orbiters like Mars Express and MAVEN reveal ancient shorelines, delta formations, and dried up channels so large they could have once carried more water than the Mississippi River. These aren't just marks on a map, they're pages from Mars' forgotten history. As the Sun aged and Mars lost its magnetic field, the planet's atmosphere was stripped away by solar winds. Without air to hold warmth or pressure, the water began to vanish, boiling away into space or freezing deep underground. Yet scientists now believe that up to 40% of that ancient water didn't disappear at all. It seeped into the crust, trapped in minerals and vast underground lakes, preserved like time capsules of life's first promise. In 2018, radar scans from the European Space Agency's Mars Express orbiter detected something astonishing beneath the South Pole, a subglacial lake buried under more than a mile of ice. It wasn't ice or rock, it was liquid water. For the first time in history, we had evidence that Mars might still hold active reservoirs of liquid water. Imagine it. Beneath that icy shell lies a hidden ocean, untouched for millions of years, protected from radiation and cosmic winds, a place where microbial life could still exist, silently thriving in darkness. This discovery set off a wave of exploration. NASA, ESA, and the Indian Space Research Organization began mapping new missions to probe deeper to send instruments capable of melting through the ice, sniffing for life, and sampling what might be the most valuable water in the solar system. But here's the question that keeps scientists awake at night. If there is water, could there still be life? Mars's underground world may resemble Earth's own subglacial environments, places like Lake Vostok in Antarctica, where microbial life has survived in isolation for millions of years beneath two miles of ice. If life could persist there, it could do the same on Mars. Perhaps not complex creatures, but simple, ancient microbes, the very foundation of all life. If found, it would mean life in the universe is not rare, it's inevitable. Recent findings from the Curiosity and Perseverance rovers have deepened the mystery. They discovered clays rich in organic molecules, carbon-based compounds that form the building blocks of life. They also detected seasonal spikes in methane gas rising from the Martian soil. On Earth, methane usually comes from living organisms. Could it be the same on Mars? No one knows for sure yet. Now, let's go even deeper beneath the surface, into the Martian crust where heat from the core still lingers. Scientists believe there could be massive aquifers extending for hundreds of kilometers, water locked in rock pores forming vast hidden oceans. Computer simulations show these underground layers could hold more water than all the Great Lakes combined. Imagine explorers one day drilling down into that unknown world, seeing liquid move beneath the red dust, watching bubbles of gas rise, and realizing that Mars has been breathing all along. Mars might appear lifeless on the surface, but beneath the crust, it could be alive in ways we've never imagined. The ground may tremble with geothermal heat, minerals may react with water to produce energy, and where there is energy, there can be life. 
Future missions like NASA's Icebreaker Life and ESA's Envision are designed to look beyond what we can see, to analyze isotopes, heat flows, and seismic activity that could point to underground movement of water. The idea isn't just to find life, but to understand whether Mars ever truly died, or if it merely went to sleep beneath its icy skin. If these hidden oceans exist, they may also hold clues to Earth's own beginnings. Mars and Earth were born from the same cosmic dust, siblings divided by distance and fate. Studying Martian water may reveal how our own oceans formed, how early chemistry evolved into biology, and how fragile planets can lose everything over time. But here's the poetic irony. The same dust that hides Mars' secrets may one day help us live there. Water isn't just the source of life, it's the key to survival. Hydrogen for fuel, oxygen for breathing, ice for drinking. One day human explorers might melt the frozen lakes of Mars to sustain colonies under domes of glass and steel. They'll walk on the same plains where rivers once flowed, and they'll look up at the red sky, knowing that the world beneath them is not dead, only waiting. Every discovery on Mars reminds us that the story isn't over. The dust storms that rage across the planet, the frozen dunes, the silent craters, all whisper the same truth. Mars is still changing. It's still evolving. And one day, its story may merge with ours. From the dry basins of Gale Crater to the hidden depths of the South Pole, Mars continues to surprise us. A silent guardian of ancient oceans, a frozen mirror of our past, and, perhaps, a prophecy of our future. This isn't just about finding water. It's about finding ourselves in the reflection of another world. Because if life once lived on Mars, even for a brief moment, then the universe is far more alive than we ever dared to dream. Thank you for watching till the end. You are watching Mars Saga, where every story brings us one step closer to uncovering the truth written in the dust of another world.